Tonight, we begin with breaking news. The Rhode Island National Guard has canceled this year's air show. The event draws thousands of people to the Air National Guard base in Quonset every year. Today, it fell victim to the federal budget cuts known as the sequester. Eyewitness News reporter Jennifer Mobilia is live in the newsroom now with all the late breaking details. Mike and Susan, thousands of people flock to the air show every summer, but they won't be able to go this year. The show was set to celebrate its 23rd anniversary, but instead the skies over Quonset Point will be quiet. Late this afternoon, the Rhode Island National Guard announced that limitations of sequestering or the budget cuts have forced them to cancel the 2013 open house and air show. This year's event was scheduled for June 29th and 30th at the Quonset State Airport. Eyewitness News has learned all scheduled military demonstrations and static displays in addition to the Blue Angels are now restricted from participating in events such as the air show. We're told financial difficulties are now forcing the Department of Defense to prioritize its training and future plans, ensuring the nation is prepared to perform overseas and domestic missions. We spoke with the Rhode Island National Guard this afternoon about the announcement. The National Guard cannot support any type of open house and air show that is based solely on civilian acts. Uh, and currently that's what we have. We've been doing the air show, the open house and air show here since 1991. We've had 22 very successful air shows to date. And we understand that this is a local staple. Uh, and this is in the fabric of some people here. And they look to come here every summer. And I can guarantee you that we took that into very serious consideration. Now we're learning this may not be the end of the air show. Tonight officials tell us they're going to start preparing for an event in 2014. And of course, we're going to continue to track this story and bring you any new information as it develops. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Jennifer Mobilia, Eyewitness News.